Uh, well, I've been involved with Sprite for about four years and essentially it's a voluntary group of fly fishermen and other people who are interested in the rivers um, and we meet once a month and carry out various conservation activities. Things like mundane things like fly tipping clearance, of which there's a lot, but also things like um, ranunculus planting, um, which helps with the um, aquatic insects uh, in the river, which benefit the, uh, the birds and the fish. Uh, another thing that we do is um, to sample the aquatic life uh, that lives in the river. So if you ever are next to a river, have a look under a rock and you'll find very small insects um, living in there and they provide sustenance. Uh, they're the kind of lifeblood of the stream. Uh, what we do in conjunction with uh, the Riverfly Monitoring Initiative is once a month we'll go to various sites across the rivers in Sheffield, look at, under those rocks and do something called kick sample, which is essentially um, kicking the riverbed and catching a load of those invertebrates into a net. We then put them into a bucket, sort them out and count various kinds of species and those um, particular species will tell us of the kind of health of the river um, and so for example you get a lot of freshwater shrimp um, you'll get things like um, the caddis fly and um, the blue winged olive um, betis nymphs mayflies all a big kind of plethora of um, aquatic life and the more diversity and the more um, volume of that life signals uh, the health of the river. Um, so if you, if you look behind me here it may not look a, you know some kind of stunning wildlife area but in fact what we've got here is a small babbling brook in the middle of a city and at the moment it's pretty much all I can hear and it's midday on a Monday which is wonderful so you've got this kind of urban oasis. Now two years ago you wouldn't have been able to see any of this because there was a concrete culvert which ran about 80 meters which was effectively a, a, a tunnel enclosing the river from uh, Matilda Street down to uh, the next bridge. That is commonplace across the UK in cities. We bury our rivers and we don't look at them as, um, as something of, um, of value to, to our society. We look at them as somewhere where we dump waste and all that sort of stuff. Gradually what's happening I think is that people are looking at rivers as having a, a real benefit to society and obviously to wildlife. These little pockets that are opening up, are um, they, they start to connect the river um, all the way along its course um, and so the wildlife can thrive. So things like birds can have free access um, down this section now which they probably wouldn't have used previously and we've also got trout moving in this river um, which probably wouldn't run through an 80 meter pitch black dark corridor. Um, so two years ago, concreted over, right now a gorgeous little urban oasis. Um, so when the concrete section was removed, all you had beneath was a straight uh, canal essentially of river without any um, bankside vegetation, um, without any kind of habitat as such. Um, because the whole thing had been living in pitch black. Um, so when the initiative was first begun, uh, coir matting and coir rolls were, were embedded into the river and these were preceded and brought um, with them a, a, a healthy, diverse uh, flora. So you're talking about your uh, water ravens and uh, your sedges and your rushes and things like that. They're all in there. These obviously provide um, habitat for insects which again is beneficial for birds, bats and um, of course uh, for the, the trout in the river. The, um, the vegetation provides things like cover for small juvenile fish um, so if there's, a, if there's a kingfisher chasing a small trout the trout's got somewhere to go um, and also it has a knock-on effect in terms of the, the bed of the river where what we've started to see um, through our monitoring is a, an increase in the number of aquatic invertebrates in the river which supply the trout with, uh, with food. 
and this has been so successful in such a short space of time we're currently coming to the end of the uh, the trout breeding season and we've noticed today a number of reds which are where the trout um, lay the eggs and the eggs grow on um, to become little trout which is absolutely amazing to consider that just two years ago this was all under concrete so sprite today are um, there's been one or two elements where uh, the the coir may not have bedded in as well as we um, have liked it to um, and so today what we're doing is a bit of maintenance on, on the channel um, so we can repair that and, imp and improve it um, so this is in terms of an urban wildlife success story not just some fishing story this is uh, this is an absolute you know it's something to, to really sing about